Damn, I want those chips. Their savory aroma beckons me. I don't think these salty chips have ever left my consciousness, nor has my infatuation for them ever wavered. The paper crunching was reminiscent of a Cheetos package, and unearthed the same response from me as that of Pavlov's dog. I can't contain the immense, uncontrollable salivation spawning from my gaping maw. It dribbles down my neck and creates a small, wet pool on the collar of my shirt and on the surface of the table. Oh, jeez. I think the teacher's noticed. He must have seen my perspiration. He walks over to me and inquires. Simpson, you alright? I respond. I'm more than alright. I'm at peace. I wonder if he knew about my little obsession if he would find it obscene or uncouth. <laughs> like I care. He wouldn't understand anyways. Do my ears bequeath me? Five minutes I hear? With that benevolent blessing to my ears, my imagination starts going wild. I can't stop conjuring the image of a Cheeto slithering down the length of my esophagus. It fills me with a fiery passion that can never be extinguished. Another vision? The door swinging wide open to reveal the vulnerable figure of a lone Cheetos package betwixt the door frame. No, hold yourself. It's just a mirage. I glance at the clock. One minute left. I can't contain myself. Tears stream down my cheeks and I shake in my chair. My colleagues are starting to notice my tremors. A concerned expression forms upon their visage, but what they don't understand is that these tremors aren't from an illness or an unseen stress. They're from happiness. The bell rings. I'm filled with joy. <laughs>